We're testing out yet another wireless microphone system. This time, this is the CK Mova Focal X V2. It's a wireless microphone system, 2.4G dual channel, and it comes with one receiver and two transmitters. The charm of something like this is that, of course, it's very convenient. You always have a microphone on you and it's wirelessly connected to the receiver on your camera, making sure that everything you say is clear and sharp. I've been using a couple of variants of these and I can say that each different variant has its own charm. And today we'll take a look at what this one has to offer. And when we open the case, we can see one, two, three pieces, and they have some sticker labels right here. And on this zippered compartment are all the accessories. So let's first take a look at what's inside. One and two lav mics. This is a USB-C cable, another USB-C cable, and another USB-C cable. So two cables because I believe one is compatible for your camera and the other one is for mobile devices. First one is the receiver and the other two are both transmitters. So the design is actually very simple, very straightforward. The receiver has a screen right here for the menu. There's a power button and also a mute button the USB-C port, and the pairing button or the set button. On the other side are the volume buttons to control your audio gain. So that's the receiver and of course up top is a line out port and a headphone monitoring port. So that's actually a good thing if there's anyone working the camera for you, they can monitor the audio output through this one. Now the two transmitters actually look very much like the receiver However, instead of the headphone port and the line out port, we have a microphone right here. So there are built in microphones and there is of course the line in port. So you have an option between using the microphone on this device or actually attaching or plugging in the lav mic that I already showed you. So it's actually more of the experience. You can either have this directly and use it directly as your microphone. You can hold it like this if you're talking by yourself or you're interviewing someone else or if you're using the, the dual kit, you can actually give the other one to, to the other person. However, you can also use the included lav mic um, instead of having this in your hand or tucked into your shirt. You can actually have the lav mic clipped right here with the wiring under your shirt and this one in your pocket and that makes it a bit more low-key and a bit less visible. Now wireless microphones like these always have that irresistible charm for me and it's of course always the convenience and the consistency because though I'm not a professional videographer and I'm not an expert with sound, my usual issue is that I don't want the microphone to be stuck with my camera because sometimes I'd want to be a bit further away and when I do that the audio gain is something that I would never want to max out because it would also increase the sound of noise that you can hear in the background. So instead if you're using a wireless microphone you can keep it in a relatively lower gain because the microphone is always right by where you are. And that's the reason why I prefer using wireless microphones because anywhere I go, I can keep it convenient. I don't have to bring heavy setups. And at the same time, the quality of my audio recording will be consistent. 
and what we're gonna do is of course mount it onto the camera and I'm gonna switch on over right now I'm using a shotgun microphone again this is acceptable because I'm indoors and I am relatively close to the camera and right now I want to listen to the ambient sound right before I turn off the camera and switch on over to these All right, now I've switched on over to the transmitter and receiver. And what I had to do is pull back a bit on the recording level on my camera because again, earlier the microphone was right there and I was speaking from maybe two feet or more of a distance. Right now the microphone is right in front of me, which means that my gain can be pulled back a bit. And so I can also decrease the amount of background noise that you can hear. And I'm going to shut up for a few seconds so you can hear the difference. Now this is the part where you come in. Now that I've changed into this wireless microphone, I want to know what you think. Now there will be a lot of differences in terms of perception because you're probably listening from your smartphone or your computer or maybe through different earphones and all those are going to be differently tuned. But we have to find a certain standard. Now I usually prefer a sound quality that has a bit more thickness in the lower register and a lot less pitchy. And you sh if you're starting to record your voice or maybe produce your own talking videos, you should find a microphone that would fit the specifications for you and match your voice. Now of course a lot of that can be tweaked after but there's an added convenience when you find the perfect microphone that can actually complement the kind of voice that you have. Now for testing purposes this is what it sounds like when I have the transmitter clipped onto my shirt. This is what it sounds like when I have the transmitter right on my hand. This is what it sounds like when I have the windscreen attached. And this is what it sounds like when I have the lav mic attached to my shirt. Now let me know in the comments if you find any difference, if you find anything better over another. I want to make this review as interactive as possible. I want to know if this fits your preferences as well. Now this microphone system is of course something made for the human voice and for speaking videos. But I also like to try out a few things that might be what we would call off-label uses. So these are uses that might come in handy and are possible with a certain device that other people might find useful. And there we go. I believe that was one quite compelling application. And if you are someone who likes to record music, specifically something acoustic, then you might also be able to make use of this wireless transmitter for your TikTok or YouTube videos. So now I'm on the roof to try and see how the sound would differ outdoors and also with a bit of noise. And I also have the windscreen attached right onto the transmitter. Now what I'm going to do right now is actually walk as far as I can to try and see if the signal will be cut. But generally, the, the distance I have to walk right now is much less than 100 meters and I'm pretty sure that the signal will be quite consistent. Let's see, I hope that you can still hear me and if you are, then this is quite good. And these are the times wherein I really wish that I was a bit more talkative. And there we go. Let me know what you think of the sound quality. Let me know what you think of the product overall. I particularly like a few things about it. Number one is the convenience of having the microphone right with you, no matter how far you are from the camera. Number two is the 600 milliampere battery on each of the pieces, because that's quite convenient that it can go about 10 hours of recording without failing you. Of course, number three is the fact that there are many different configurations 
that you can use in terms of the microphone you can have it like this you can have it on your hand and you can also use it with the included level your mic and of course the last thing i really like about this is the price because compared to competitors this is actually somewhat more pocket friendly so there if you have any questions if you have any suggestions or even comments about the quality please feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. If you have any more information that you want about this microphone, you can head on over to the link that I already attached down below. And don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel or follow my page.